In this video, I'll go over how to backup data saved to a cloud service provider, specifically Microsoft OneDrive, to a Synology NAS using CloudSync. CloudSync is an add-on package that allows you to sync and share files between your Synology NAS and various cloud providers, and the package can be installed on these Synology NAS models. For your reference, I'll leave a link to this page in the description below. To get started, I'll first create a shared folder that I'll use as the location on the NAS where the files will be synced to. To do this, I'll bring up DSM and go to Control Panel, Shared Folder, click on the Create button, then the Create option. Now I'll enter in a name for the shared folder. Note that the volume that I'll be using is set up with the BTRFS file system, which allows us to create snapshots which are read-only point-in-time copies of a shared folder that provide a way to quickly restore files that may have been accidentally deleted or compromised. I cover how to use snapshots to protect your shared folders from ransomware attacks in the video listed here on screen and which I'll link to in the description below. Check it out after this video if you are interested in further protection of the files you've downloaded from your cloud service provider. I'll continue by clicking Next until I get to this screen, where I'll enable the Data Checksum for Advanced Data Integrity option, and if you'd like, you could enable a quota on the shared folder as well. I know my OneDrive usage is minimal, so I won't enable a quota for my setup. I'll continue through the remainder of the wizard and click Apply to finish things up. Now let's get to setting up CloudSync by bringing up the Package Center then I'll search for and install the CloudSync package. Once installed, I'll click Open to bring up CloudSync, and here we can see the various cloud providers that are supported. I'll be backing up my Microsoft OneDrive, so I'll select that option and click Next. I'll then come up to this login page where I'll enter in my credentials and click Sign In. I'll then agree to allow CloudSync the permissions required to access my Microsoft OneDrive account, which redirects me back to the CloudSync setup in DSM. I'm now able to continue with the setup where I'm able to change the connection name, which I'll leave as is. Select the local path, which I'll point to the shared folder that I created earlier. Change the remote path if I'd like to, but in my case, I want to back up all the files saved on my OneDrive setup, so I'll leave the root folder selected. For sync direction, I'll change this to download remote changes only because I work on my files directly on Microsoft OneDrive and I want to just download the files for a backup copy. I'll leave the enable advanced consistency check enabled. I won't enable data encryption because this is only for encrypting data sent to the cloud, not downloading from the cloud. I'll enable the option not to remove files in the destination folder when they are removed in the source folder, just in case a file gets removed from OneDrive by mistake. I'll click on Schedule Settings, but I'll leave the schedule as is, so whenever a change happens to a file on OneDrive, the file will be synced automatically to my Synology NAS. You could change the schedule to fit your needs by selecting the Enable Schedule Settings checkbox, then toggling on or off the suspend or run boxes for the specific hours and days listed to your specifications. Once done with the task settings, I'll click next, then click on advanced settings where we can see that the sync task can be adjusted further. We have the option to adjust what folders should be synchronized, which we saw earlier, and we can also filter what files should be synced by either file size or file type. In my setup, I'll leave things as is, so I'll click Cancel, then click Done to complete the setup. I'll click OK on this window, and now we can see that the syncing with Microsoft OneDrive is taking place, and in my case, after a few minutes, the sync task finishes up, and my Synology NAS is up to date with my OneDrive account. Hopefully you can use CloudSync in your environment to back up the files you have saved to your cloud service provider, to your Synology NAS. And if this video helped in your setup, make sure to give it a thumbs up.
Also, check out this video to further protect your files with snapshots, and consider subscribing to this channel as well. Lastly, if you'd like to support this channel, check out the support this channel section in the description below. Thanks so much for watching.